So before anything else, let me introduce to the topical workbook for computer science 2210478. This is the workbook one for for paper one, basically computer systems. And as you can see from the table of contents, I've included questions on each and every subtopic from the syllabus, along with the mark scheme. And these are some of the actual questions, actual pages, uh, as a preview from the workbook. Section 1.1, 1.3, 2.2, 3.2, 3 5.3, Cybersecurity and Artificial Intelligence. This is just to show you a glimpse of what type of questions are included in the workbook. There are many, many, many more questions where these come from and around 18 to 20 questions on an average are included for each and every topic. A must buy if you want to boost your grade. Similar to the paper one workbook, I have designed a paper workbook for paper two as well. This is for algorithm programming and logic uh, for CIEs either 2210 or 0478 GCE or IGCSE computer science. As you can see, it contains questions on every subsection of the syllabus content for paper two along with the mark scheme so you can understand each and every question each and every um, algorithm these are some of the few pages from the workbook just to give you a glimpse of what type of questions are included as you can see this is 7.1 this is 7.7 8.3 and section 10 boolean logic so um, a lot more questions are included in the workbook a must buy if you want to have a very good score in your Cambridge examination order now assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh i hope you guys are doing fine so today we are going to discuss another 15 mark scenario based question and now let's read the question and then have a look at its solution candy company manufactures 20 different kinds of candy each identified by a product id an array product ID is used to store the product IDs and another uh, array unit price is used to store the price per unit of each type of candy. The unit price of product identified by product ID n is equal to unit price n for any index. Means in and they have also given a diagram as well. So let's understand this what they are trying to say with the help of this diagram. So there are two different arrays product underscore ID and unit underscore price. Now over here in the third position well second index number because the index is starting from zero over here. The name is jelly 1q. Now the price for this would be at the third position means the second index number in the unit price array as we are told that these both arrays are linked by the index number means the product over here having a certain index number then the price of that product would be stored having the same index number in this array remember that if two arrays are totally random if they would not be linked by the index number then it would be very difficult for you to uh, utilize these in your solutions so the two or three arrays that would you would be given to you in Cambridge questions would more or less likely always be connected through index numbers we have seen this in our previous questions as well if you have not seen then please uh, go and see my previous uh, scenario based question lectures as well it would be a great help to you please do refer it to your friends as well continue on write a program that means the following requirements calculate the average unit price means we have to calculate uh, average as well as the name of cheapest and most expensive product we do not have to output the price of cheapest and uh, uh, most expensive product we uh, have to tell its name means we'll have to search this array for cheapest and uh, expensive most expensive means minimum and maximum value and then we would have to use the index number for the those uh, minimum or maximum values to print the values from product id save the data in appropriate data structures means either variables or uh, 
or you can say constants or not exactly constants either variables or arrays and save it to a file and the name is already given to you so you have to use only this name and not any other name then in the next part of the program take product id as input from user and use it to output the price of a candy basically we have to apply linear search over here uh, a user will enter a product id will search for it in this array and once it is found we'll use the index number for that position to print the unit price having the same index number from this second array we have also done a similar question so you should be able to understand this concept now and if the entered product id is not found then an output pass and uh, error message should be displayed you must add comments always remember you cannot write a good solution for a 15 mark question without comments do not initialize the arrays do not make this mistake some students do that they declare these the arrays given in the question if it says do not initialize the arrays they have already been set up and data already stored then do not declare them otherwise you lose two or three marks for this because this is not just ignoring instruction this is a blunder now moving on how would you make the solution for this first of all we are going to initialize or declare our variables and constants now what we can do is we'll declare a choice so that uh, now why am have i made this choice as integer because i would like to because my program is basically having two modules one should find out the average maximum and minimum and whereas the other one should uh, perform a linear search so i'll display a menu in the start of the program to the user and for that the user should be able to make a choice that what he or she wants to do for that i'll be uh, having a variable with the name of choice and counter for running a loop obviously then i'm going to declare total price average price max price and minimum price as real all of these would be real as you can see these are real data types even if they were in whole numbers average we would always take as real then we would declare product id cheapest and most expensive as a string because we have to display the name of the cheapest and most expensive as well as we have to take input of product id from the user since we have to apply a linear search so we'll make a uh, variable of found that would be having the data type as boolean then we'll use a constant as well it's optional you can directly use the value 20 as well but it uh, the solution looks better if you introduce a constant in it so constant would be products or you can name it as number of products as 20 and uh, see the comment uh, explains it that it is uh, the constant for total number of products where would we use this in order to calculate the average because we have to divide total price divided by the number of products initializing value for minimum price min price would be a greater value so i have taken 100 uh, 200 you can take 100 2000 1000 or any big number why have i done this if you don't know then please go back to section number 7.4 and watch my lecture you'll understand loop started to cal calculate display menu uh, sorry not calculate just to display menu the word calculate is a bit wrong over here repeat now print candy company menu or you can write anything else candy menu or product menu whatever you want enter one to check average price cheapest candy and most expensive candy saving the details to the file enter two to search product price by entering product id and enter three to exit now we are going to uh, take the input choice from the user but we have we will validate it as well repeat input choice until choice is greater than equals to one and choice is less than equals to two sorry not two this would be three because we are giving the user three options 
this would be 3 okay if choice equals to 1 then what to do we have to perform this part calculate average maximum and minimum for count 0 to uh, sorry not 20 0 to 19 because we have 20 products so for count 0 to 19 what to do if unit price count is less than minimum price then put the unit price count into minimum price else if and also in the cheapest variable place the name of product ID at that certain position else if, if unit price is greater than maximum price then put the unit price index position in the maximum price or max price and in the most expensive variable put the relevant value from the product ID, ID array and if and if why to and if because we opened the if statement two times total price equals to total price plus unit price e no matter you get a minimum price and maximum or maximum price or not you still have to add the unit price all 20 values of unit price into your total variable total price variable then next count calculating average price simple average price equals to total price divided by number of products or if you are not using a constant over here then simply divided by 20 displaying results to user print average price for all products is then we print the value of average price cheapest candies then we print the name of cheapest whereas most expensive candies and the stored name is mo in most expensive variable would be displayed then we have to save this data to a file how do we do this we open use the open file command to access this file for a write operation then one by one we uh, pass three lines three lines of code a write file product underscore details dot text the name that was given to us in this question comma average price that means put the value of average price into this file then put the value of this into the file then put the value of this variable into the file so all three of our values would be stored in the file and once we are done we'll close file which one the product underscore details dot text and here we have successfully completed our both of the instructions we have calculated maximum minimum and average and we have saved it to product underscore details dot text now what remains is the second module else if choice equals to two then do what taking product id as input print please enter product id to know its price then we the user would input the product id and then we would run a linear search on product id and display the equivalent unit price from the unit price array so we'll be repeat uh, we'll use the repeat loop if product id equals to count equals to product id means if the value in the variable matches the first value in product id uh, array then do what print the price of product id means the uh, name uh, the product id that you entered is unit price count will call the equivalent value from the unit price array and display it and then we'll put found as true else count equals to count plus one means go to the next entry and check that and then the next and then the next until count is greater than 19 means all 20 values have been checked or found equals to true means only stop if the found variable becomes true or you have checked all of the 19 values in the product id array displaying error message because it was given in the question if count is greater than 19 and found equals to false if you have if your pseudocode has tested all of the 20 products and it, none of them matched with the entered product id that was given by the user then print sorry product id not found in record and if and for closing our program we gave the user three option until choice equals to three means if the user input three then simply close the program and the loop close everything i hope you have understood if you have any problems please feel free to contact me 
put your doubts and comments down below I'll surely reply to them good luck for your papers and I'll see you guys in the next video take care Allah Hafiz